Theories about what causes substance use disorders are varied and controversial. Understanding these theories may be helpful in developing a treatment plan, plan for a client. There are five theories we use in substance abuse studies. Moral theory, disease and medical theory, genetic theory, behavioral theories, and sociocultural theories. Moral theory is based on the assumption that substance use and alcohol abuse are wrong and sinful. This theory begins with people choosing, choosing to use because they are bad people with no morals. It believes that, individu that individuals continue using because they are choosing to, that it is merely a choice. They lack a sense of willpower and honest and truly have full control over their use that they can stop if they so choose to. The goal with treatment is to lock away the addicts and rid society of them. Because this theory lacks scientific evidence, it is mostly a historical theory, although many people do still believe that it begins as a choice. Next, we have the disease or the med medical theory. This theory offers a shift from believing the, the addicted to be mentally insufficient to now believing that it is an illness. Thus, Alcoholics Anonymous was founded in 1935. AA believes that users require the help of a higher power in order to recover, but that the individual is not at fault for having this disease. Today, the medical model is the most prevalent of all treatment models, as medical research has evidence that SUDs are comparable to a disease. The model notes that SUDs are a disease of the brain, and severity increases over time if it is left untreated. The next series that I'm going to be discussing are considered as complementary theories to the medical model. Research is currently underway in an attempt to further explain dependency involving generational studies, twin and adoption studies, biological research, and a search for genetic markers. This is known as a genetic theory. To date, adoption studies indicate a relationship between an adopted child and the biological parent's substance use. The biggest impact genetics may have is a process from the first use of a substance use disorder, development. Taking advantage of this theory may shed more light on risk factors involved in determining and who may be predispositioned to substance abuse. Behavioral theories begin with behavioral psychologists who believe that all behavior is learned, thus giving an environmental perspective. Substance use disorders are seen as being a result of learned patterns. This makes treatment rather easy as goals can be created based on the observed behaviors and One disadvantage with this approach is that other factors are not considered, however. But just as behavioral theories focus on the individual, we also have sociocultural theories, which look at the social and cultural factors involved in substance abuse. Attitudes toward alcohol varies between cultures, and, and it also affects consumption between those cultures. Some of the major sociocultural influences include gender, race, socioeconomic status, and socialization. For example, a racially segregated inner city may encourage substance use and, and selling of it as an industry. Unskilled laborers end up in worse po poverty with inadequate housing and often cannot cannot finish an education. Many end up succumbing to criminal activities and feel outcasted from society. 
because of this, it gives us what we know as sociocultural theories. As we continue research today, however, we find that substance use is complex and one theory alone cannot explain it.